Hi Chiefs! Welcome back to another week of Me the Chief Explorer. This week, we are learning about some of the technologies that have been used to help humans be explorers and navigators. When you think of technology, what do you think of? Smartphones, robots, technology is anything that helps improve our lives. Good technology is hard to notice because it's everywhere, like roads or even houses. For early explorers, things like maps and compasses were amazing technology for them. My favourite is the compass. Have you ever seen one before? I have one. Do you realise how magical these are? No matter where you are, they all point in the same direction. North! Our ancestors relied on the sun and the stars to find their way around. That was great, but during the day, you can't even see the stars. Nothing's impossible. I am unstoppable. I can do anything. So imagine how useful it is to have a device that works anytime and anywhere. The compass was invented over 2,000 years ago in China. People noticed that magnets and stones made of iron would always point in the same direction when they were left to float in water. That's because the Earth is like a big magnet and there are invisible lines that go from the South Pole to the North Pole. This is called the magnetic field. A magnet, or magnetic needle, will line up with these invisible lines, always pointing to the North. How cool is that? It means that if you know where you are and where you need to go, a compass can point you in the right direction to get there. For me, the compass always points to a place called World Spawn. Compasses work especially well with maps. And this helped early explorers to find their way around the world and start mapping new places. Compasses have four important parts to know. The compass rows, that's the north, south, east and west marked on the outside dial, along with these numbers, called degrees. The direction of travel arrow, that's the arrow on the plastic. The orienteering arrow, that's the red arrow on the dial that looks like a shed. And the magnetic needle. That's the big red arrow. We call him Red Fred. Let's say you want to travel to the north, hold the compass flat in front of you, turn the dial until the north is lined up with the direction of your travel. Then, keeping the compass flat in your hand, turn your body until you put Red Fred in the shed. Now, you know you're facing the north, Ouch! Ugh. Anyways, that's a bit about the compass. Most of you have big schools, so maybe your teachers can take you outside to test it in real life. That would be fun to do in the summer. See you soon, Chiefs! I'll be back to tell you about another interesting technology soon. Can you guess what it might be? Nothing can break me down, I'll get back up and I'll start again. Nothing's impossible, I am unstoppable. I can do anything I put my mind to. So let's go on an adventure, travel across the sea. We can do it together, come and explore with me. Let's go on an adventure, travel across the sea. Explore with me, yeah, 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 yeah. Come and explore with me. What if I fail?
I'll do whatever it takes to stay focused on my goal.